to choose him. Because we've used our reason, judgment and intellect and we see, oh, this is the best thing I've ever found. Oh, I want to know him. In Job 22 verse 21, the Bible says, Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. And receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. Then shall thou lay up gold as dust and the gold of Ophel as the stones of the book. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defence, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. Sounds good, eh? Oh, those that know and love God are the wealthy, (laughs) because look what they have. But there's a great deceiver out there that tricks people into not realising these things. And the most effective way to take this down is the body. That's the most effective way. We've been looking at the basic laws that govern the body and the brain. Sunshine. Our brain needs sun, and you know how it gets sun? Through our eyes. I don't suggest you look at the sun, but just being outside. And if you've got glasses, please take them off and find a tree and hang onto it for a while, just in case you can't see very well. Our eyes need sunshine. There's supposed to be an N in there, shouldn't there? I've got a few teachers watching me this week. (laughs) Use of water. Did you know that our brain is a hydroelectric system? No water, no hydro, no hydro, no electricity. Our, Our brain cells swim in fluid. The electricity jumps from cell to cell via this hydroelectric electric system. And it's just not water, it's salt water. And we've been looking at the importance of having the whole salt. And apparently the local health food shop's wondering what's happening in the town because all the Celtic salt is sold out. <laughs> 82 minerals in that salt. Sleep, whoa, this is one of the biggest deceptions that we don't need much sleep. Dr. Matthew Walker, in his book, Why We Sleep, he says six nights, no, sorry, ten, ten nights of six hours sleep a night, 50% less cognitive performance, 50% less physical performance. And the problem with six hours sleep is you feel okay. (laughs) It's a deception. You are not okay. And it's in the early parts of the night, there's a cleaning system happens in the brain. So if we go to bed at midnight or one o'clock every night, year after year after year after year, do you know the cleaning system's not happening? And something builds up in the front part of the brain and they're little calcified deposits. They're called little amyloid plaques. And every case of dementia, when they do a post-mortem on them, they find little amyloid plaques. They can even pick them up in a scan. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to go there. I want my mind to be as clear as my 99-year-old grandmother was when she died. (laughs) I want it to be clear. And God never, ever designed that brains deteriorate the way they're deteriorating. The very famous British Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, she boasted that she only needed five hours sleep a night. And how did she spend the last 20 years of her life? Severe dementia. Ronald Reagan's another one famous uh, United States president. He boasted only on needing five hours sleep a night. It's a huge deception. Last 20 years of his life, severe dementia. We want to get to bed early tonight, don't we? (laughs) And you know what's interesting? It's the hours before midnight where most of the cleaning happens. If you go to bed at midnight and don't get up till 8 a.m., yes, you've had eight hours, but you've missed out on the cleaning part. There's never been such a problem as now because every home has technology. That's what keeps us awake. Isn't that true? If at 8 o'clock we get a soft light and a book... What are we doing by nine? (laughs) And if you can't sleep, I've got some good news. 
You can rewire your brain, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. You can rewire your brain and you can train your brain. It's called, it's called now, technically, it's called neuroplasticity, meaning we've got a changeable brain. Also soft-wired. They used to think our brain was hard-wired. That's why they had the old saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, that's been proven wrong. Proven wrong. You can. Where there's a will, there's a way. That's certainly true. If you say you can, you will. And if you say you can't, you're right. You won't. So sleep is a big one. A huge deception is we don't need a lot of sleep. And Margaret Thatcher, brilliant mind. If you've ever looked at her history, you know, as she was training as a young woman, top the class, brilliant mind. And we know as a prime, she a prime minister, you know, you, you have to have a good brain for that. And to see her brain deteriorate so badly. It's not the odd day, you might have five hours just as well, because when you travel like I do, sometimes that happens. It's not the odd day you do it, and it's not the odd day you don't. It's what you do every day that determines the health status of your body. T. Trust. Trust in God because he is able. We looked at a psalm last night, Psalm 146. Put not your trust in princes. Who are the princes? The authorities. In every field. Put not your trust in princes, neither in the son of man in whom there is no help. His breath goes forth, he returns unto his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Showing that when we die, we go to the grave. But look at the next verse. Happy is he that hath the God of Jacob as his help. Because look at the God of Jacob as his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in their ends, that keeps truth forever. I know where I want my hope to be, not in the princes and the son of man who's known help, in the great God of heaven. The Bible says in Psalm 33, verse 8, it says that all the world fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the earth stand in awe of him. That's a different type of fear, isn't it? That's awe. For he spake and it was done. He commanded and it stood fast. We can trust the creator of the universe. Trust him. Do you know when you trust in him, you give your life into his hands and you don't have to worry. Doesn't that sound good? I'm not sure what's happening next, but God knows. So when in 2021 I went up in Frankfurt to get, to, to get on the plane to go to the US, they said, no, you can't get on the plane. America's not taking anybody but US citizens. Whew. So I stood back. What do I do now? You know what I know? God knows. God knows. So now I just have to look around and think, now what now? (laughs) Where am I going to go now? Do you know, it's a much easier way to live when you live like that. Abstain. Here is a huge deception. A huge deception is there a new... Just about every television program, I know in Australia we don't watch a lot of television, but sometimes we watch a documentary and you see the ads. The most beautiful models drinking their coffee saying, oh, this is so good. It is not good. You know what that caffeine does? It disrupts the neurotransmitters in the brain. And when it disrupts the neurotransmitters in the brain, it causes a chemical imbalance in the brain. Eee, they don't tell you that on the coffee packet, do they? And what's depression? What's, what's a term for depression? A chemical imbalance in the brain. I used to work in a psych hospital. They're drinking coffee all day. So why do they give them coffee? Because guess who's drinking coffee? The nurses and the doctors. So why don't they have mental illness? <clears throat> I won't tell you all, but I can tell you now quite a few do. I was shocked how many...